Welcome to the Empire by this is Rampane, and welcome back to my Dominion of Isengard campaign for the Divine Conquer version 5 mod from Medieval 2. We're going to continue the football from last time with our world conquest of Middle Earth. Well, right now, we have a defense of Mathras at this point in time, right now, where I, I'm not worried about you guys. This is Sodermoth, the fuck, unfucking stoppable. I think we're fine. We are starting to push our front forward so far right now against the um, forces of Gondor. Um, I need to get to Lynn here so that all these areas around Dolmroth are protected. And so I'm going to be starting to try and split my Nazgul into two armies around here. Because I think I have enough money that I have enough troops that I can do that without too much concern. So we're going to try that. Uh, you guys here. So let's see. So... way I'm going to want to go about this... Let's get everybody off the walls. Um, I want to get my crossbows up on the walls over here. So you guys can kind of shoot into this section where they're going to be bringing their ladders. So like right there and right about there. Yep, just about. Uh, Saruman will be over here as well. I think you'll be okay and safe up here. Uh, then I want to try and have it so I have my wargs for this this time. So I'll have my infantry. I'll have to adjust to you guys. But I'll basically be putting these guys up on the wall. You are going to be going outside. I uh, just rush out. You rush out. Oh, and they just merged into. Uh, let's get my garrisons up here initially. So you guys go up there. I'll everybody else kind of wait down below um, just until we need to bring these guys forward. At the moment, I don't think we're going to need them for the moment. So I'll just gather you guys right around here. There. Actually, I should have you guys further back because otherwise you're going to mess up the gates. So just all my infantry kind of gather around back here. Right there, right there. Right there. Also, skirmishers. I'll make sure you have skirmish mode off initially. I don't want you guys wasting ammo. So let's get all these guys to group up here. John's bodyguards around here. And then the wargs. Okay, you did get out. So we want you to first get them off of this stuff over here. We'll get them off of the ladders and the siege towers. And then once they're done with those, I will then try and get them off of the ram. Come on, get out of the gates. Please shut the, please shut the stuff. Please, please, please. Come on. Get onto the walls. Get out of the way from the gates. Go, go, go. Come on, guys. I need you to get up there. Wargs at least got them to drop their stuff. Uh, I need you to just wait a little bit longer to try and get them to drop their siege towers. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't break. Don't break. They should drop it any second. Come on, come on, come on. Have you guys not gotten into position yet? You guys are taking your sweet time. And you still won't shut the gates for some reason. Let's see. Let's get you back up now. Now we need to get them to drop the ram. Yeah, and just in case, I'm possibly going to have to defend the gates here. If you guys don't close that gate. Which you guys should once this unit's up on the walls. Well, they don't want to shut the gates right now. I'm at least going to move my forces here. I'm going to get you guys kind of set up around back here just in case they start pushing forward. Uh, they should focus their attention onto the ladders right now. Especially once I get you back on inside. Because once you're back in here and defending everybody, you should be good. Ballistas, I don't think I'm going to bring you guys forward. I don't think I'll need you. Hold on. Eh, might as well just in case. But for right now, just trying to get you guys up here. Just trying to get you guys to fight them. So far right now, we've already killed like 5% of the enemy army. So I'll keep saying just my garrison up towards this section here. Trying to get you guys to focus on them. And at least right now, they're just not using the gates. They have started wising up, and they are starting to move through to the gates, it seems like, now. So, at this point in time, I've taken out a fourth of their army so far. I've got my infantry in position. At least all my pikes are ready. Uh, adjusting my infantry just a little bit more. And ballistas, I'm trying to get you guys to be, like, set up back here. Ready and waiting. Honestly, if you guys can, I'd love for you to be able to shoot through this section right now. Because that is a pretty big blob just formed right there. So we can get a lot of damage if you can shoot through that area. Because they've lost a fourth of their army already. So if we can get a little bit more in there. Come on, Ballistas, please tell me you're actually going to fire there. I know the angle's really awkward, but if you can shoot in there, they'd be perfect. So far, no. Awesome. So they've, they've tried to push through the gates a little bit. They've lost 73% of their army now at this point. Because they just focus on just the garrison units. That's all they've been focusing on this entire time. The enemy general is dead. Uh, my cav, I'm actually going to get you guys to start trying to run down some of these units because some of them are now starting to just rout. And there we go. We have been able to hold once more. Uh, you guys took out 91% of the forces. Well, I lost 18% of my own. Although that was pretty much just my wargs and the garrison, right? Yeah, that, that's it. Those are the only people that actually took damage. 
Yeah. So the Warg Marauders took some damage, but they recovered pretty much almost all of those. And then it was then just the uh, the defenders. Crossbows did the most damage, obviously, uh, as they were just rushing on in and being shot in the back with crossbows. But there we go. So now we've been able to kind of whittle down their pro presence around here a little bit more. Now we just need to see, can I push the front forward with my Nazgul? Because if I can get closer to Minas Tirith, I will so be... Like, if, once I hit Minas Tirith, that is when Gondor is going to be nothing to me at this at that point. Because then I can just endlessly defend Minas Tirith, like I have been uh, with Rohan, uh, with uh, Fulberg. But even still, at that point, I want to start pushing into the forces of Rohan. But still, at least that will mean that I have a really good place to defend against Gondor. Although part of me wonders, should I finish off Dol and Roth before I start attacking Rohan? I could. Uh, they have that land down south that I can push on into. But also, I do need a better fleet before I decide to go take their island. So that they control. Okay, you guys are sieging Karnost. You, do you even have your friend in there? You do, so let me withdraw. That's fine. Okay, siege Tarnost. I've got a, I've got enough guys in Tarnost. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. So I think I should be okay. Because we'll just have it so that I will be having that army go towards the linear. That's more important. Tarnost, it's like, that's half a stack. That that should be fine. I, I don't think you guys are going to have to worry too much about that. Um, also, Tarnost is a castle, right? If it's a castle, then you're, you're definitely fine. Let's see, they're sieging me at Dolomroth still, yeah. Well, Dolomroth should be fine. That's a pretty small army. So, Dolomroth and Tarnost, both I think should be fine. Um, Regnos can grow now. Beautiful. Let's queue that up. And then, let's see. So, I uh, didn't finish anything. No, I did not finish anything for construction for this turn. Okay. Although, uh, you guys, let's get the storehouse. You, I will reluctantly get the better shrine of Melkor. We'll start slowly building up. I'm going to have to start building up eventually. Uh, over here, get the better barracks. Because yeah, you use 65%, and you definitely have that. Uh, back over here, which can... Yeah, you're almost... You need two more turns to get the bail. Once you're there, you'll be able to start pushing forward a bit more. Uh, this area... Yeah, oh yeah, you definitely can easily get your army barracks. So let's have you grab that. Then back over here... Let me just double check. So this is a castle. Oh, you guys are fine. Yeah, there's no way in hell you guys win that fight. Okay. Now I can get to Lin here. So, let's now start trying to strike Lin here. I'm going to try and move you first, though, just to guarantee we have enough movement. Then let's push on in. Hello. He's got an okay army. But I have four Nazgul, so an okay army is not going to stop me. So there we go. So Lin here. We'll push on in here. This will make it so they'll probably stop the siege around Dol and Roth. They will then be safe. Then we just have to worry about Tarnost and Lin here. And is this a castle or is this a city? I think this is a city. It is. It is a city. Okay. Let's start to plummet. Let's get my uh, ballistas. Let's get you guys over here initially. Uh, actually, not that side. Uh, let's go over here instead. Yeah, right here. So we'll go right here. We'll try and get them into the city center initially with my Nazgul. And then I'll have it so that what we'll do is we'll try and group them up and get them to blob up, because I have, like, no infantry in here. I have plenty of skirmishers and plenty of uh, units uh, to explode them with. But let's just try and see if we can get them to make their way back to the city center, and then I will just shoot them while they're all blobbed up. That's kind of my hope. So start trying to break down the gates with the ballistas, and then I'm probably going to try and see if I can take out these towers, too, if I have enough ammo, because I do not want to try and deal with that if we can. Missing some of your shots. Let's get a little bit closer so we don't waste all of our ammo. Okay, gates are down. Ballista towers are also now destroyed. So I'm just bringing in my Nazgul over. I'm gonna have you guys start trying to run over to the side. Uh, don't fire Will Inchley. I actually want you to just like open this gate section and then I'm gonna start bringing in my skirmishers over this way. I'm actually going to avoid this entire army they have right now over here until I can get into the city center and just like unload into you guys. Because that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to focus on the city center, blob up in the city center, and then let me just destroy you guys that way. So, Nazgul, you're making your way over here. All my skirmishers close to the city center is to the gates. And then if you guys start trying to make your way towards me while I'm doing this, the Nazgul can then just shoot you while you're blobbing up right there. 
So we'll try and have it so I'll have half of you guys go to one side, and we'll kind of like surround them with my skirmishers. So gates are now under our control. Let me get you guys to start making your way forward here. So we're going to have you guys go over here. You will support here. You guys will go around the side. That way, I can get you guys to just go right up in front of them. And then I don't even know what the hell I'm going to do with this guy. We're probably just going to do nothing. I don't really think I need you to do anything. So kind of similar to what I do with my Fulberg attacks. Uh, let's just get one shot, one of you at a time. So fire, cease fire, just so we can make the most out of my ammo. Kind of give them like time to re like reform a little bit before I throw again. And then let me have it so... You know what? Actually, that's what you're going to do. You're going to go rush up here and get them to get onto the city center. Because at this point in time, we're just getting everybody into position right now. So my archers... Why the fuck are you doing this? Why did you guys go... You weren't supposed to be over here in the first place. You're... Okay, just stand on the city center now. Because you guys are idiots. Uh, yeah, just stand on top of the city center. Because that is not what I was telling you guys to do whatsoever. You were all supposed to rush in the same spot. So yeah, back out of there. Back out of there. Get out of that area. Crossbows. Uh, I can get you guys to kind of line up here. You'll be able to fire onto things. I actually am not even capturing the city center just yet. Okay. Well, let's do this. Fire. 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 And then you can throw some stuff at the Citadel Guard there. Just blanket murder a pretty good sizable chunk. Cease fire for a second. Let them reform. Or not. I was going to let them reform so they could have it so they would get a bit more in there. And then some of you guys. Yeah, focus on that captain's bodyguard. That's the general's bodyguard too. So unload into that poor sap. He should probably die before he even gets to you guys. Let's see. So he is making his way towards you. He's got 58 guys. Let's see. Let's also do this. So one of you kind of pull back. So one go here. One go here. And one go here. That way you guys can kind of shoot him from multiple angles as he tries to get into melee with you guys. Nazgul are now having to get into melee. A little bit. Let's see. Focus on the Citadel Guard. The Gondor archers I don't care about. Let's see, you're free. You throw some stuff at the Citadel Guard. Archers, there you go. You guys are just supposed to shoot people. Uh, ballistas, try and take this tower out. Doesn't take you that much ammo to do so, so just like, kind of go up here. Crossbows, let's see, 45% are already dead. Let's see how you guys doing. And there we go. Oh, we are next to the towers, though. Okay, hopefully you guys being uh, angled like this will mean we kill the captain's bodyguard faster. Yeah, keep firing into them. Oh yeah, there you go. I took like 12 guys in that first volley. There you go. Keep firing into him. He'll be dead any second now. Nazgul. Let's see. So you... Let's fight this guy. Most of the reinforcements are over here right now. So as soon as we've pushed through you, I can just get my Nazgul ready right here, wait for them to start walking up, and then just throw stuff at them. Uh, crossbows. Oh, they've got some units back here. Uh, those are the spearmen. We don't care about the spearmen. Okay, now they're starting to bring men back at this point in time. So they keep interrupting. Enemy general's dead. So now I should possibly be able to get you guys to break if I start screaming. Some of you guys are stunned. Some of you guys are over by melee city. combat over here. Those are archers. That's not the best. Let's, see, let's have you try and focus it to those guys. Let's try and get you to run away from them. We don't want you to be in melee combat with infantry. You will lose that. So kind of pull back there and there. These Nazgul, I think, um... Let's see. You still be trying to throw stuff. You're almost out of ammo. These two at least, though. Let's get you to kind of regroup over here with the spear against the Spearman. And then... Let's see, they've already lost 72% so far. Let's have you go help out over there, too. I wanted to capture the city center, but it looks like I might have to kill every single one of them. So yeah, just keep throwing stuff. Oh, once these guys are dead, and it's only the guys outside that we have to worry about, which I'm already trying to get you guys over here for. 
Yeah, like you guys getting over here into melee. I do not like the ballista towers, though. They are shaking. Can we just break you all? God damn it. Scar's now dead, too. <sighs> See, this is why I don't like the ballista towers. So Scar's now wounded. He'll be wounded for between 15 to 20 turns. <sighs> God damn it. Just, we were almost done with the battle, and now he's just wounded. That's fine. Okay. Well, for right now, what we'll have to do is... I'll, I'll keep pushing into Gondor. Um, is that you? Was it the tower, or was it over here? If you, or Did you seriously lose to a basic fucking spearman? Yes, you did. I don't see him over here. God damn it, wasn't even the ballistas. Oh my god. Cigar, my man! How? You used to be a boss in my Mordor campaign, and you died to a basic fucking spearman. <sighs> yep. Okay. It's fine. I still have three. I still have three. So yeah, in, in between 15 to 20 turns from now, he'll be back. I would hope that we have Minas Tirith by then. That's kind of my hope, because what we could do is I could have it so... Um, when he respawns, he will just rejoin the guys I have in Fulberg and start pushing from that angle with two armies. I think that wouldn't be the worst way to go about it. But now, at least, Lin here is now under my control. Now we should be able to have it so we can easily defend this spot. So there we go. Of course, as soon as I lose like one Nazgul, I start losing all of them. So let's repair this stuff, start trying to get this round of Melkor, and then, again, get a spy to start trying to help convert. And then... Yep, Zagar, so um, between one, uh, 174, uh, sorry, 174, sorry, yeah, 174 and 179 is when we'll get him back. But for right now, at least, my front should be pushed forward. You guys should stop sieging me. Tarnas will still be sieged. Um, do I have enough movement to hit anyone? I don't have enough troops, honestly, but I... Oh. I need to wait for reinforcements. I do. So let's have you guys try and retrain the forces around here. Uh, Dolan Ross should be fine next turn. You can't get me anything right now. Uh, you can get some stuff though. You already have a, uh, quite a few of you guys we've That's gathered together. Media. Oh yeah, we might get to test out the trolls today. Because oh. yeah, I've got these guys here. So probably take like half of you will be going over towards the Nazgul. Actually, what I might do... You're fine there. Let's bring you down this way. Then I can have it so that you'll bring reinforcements over to here first, so that I can get out of here with Saruman. Saruman can keep pushing forward, and then I can bring the rest of the reinforcements over as well to get over to the Nazgul. I like that idea. Let's see. You can't get anything for there. You can give me some more crossbows. You got a reward here. So, grab that, grab that, and then all of these guys keep making their way over to Kalimbel. Um, you're moving forward as well. This territory here, uh, yeah, let's get the Grog Hut. Might as well, I say. Grab that, and then... Morning, how many, what do they have in this area? Oh, Tharbad has, like, nothing in it. I'll be able to very easily make my way into Tharbad with you guys, honestly. So we got another candidate for adoption here. I'll gladly accept you. And let's see, this guy's in wind right now. Um, let's go have you. I could probably use some more guys up around here to kind of help watch over territories. So let's send you towards Barad Vin, because you'll probably be the governor. Oh, actually, you should be the governor of Ulsvin. So let's send you over here. Also, why are you guys still having troops over here, even though I don't border you? Interesting. Um, okay. Well, for right now, let's, let's keep moving you up here. Get the watchtower, and then keep pushing up. And I need two units. I would want to grab the Ballista, and you guys have... You actually have a lot of skirmishers in this army, actually. So I actually just... Honestly, I almost just want to grab just two of those. Uh, but we'll grab another Ballista, so we at least have two of them. And then uh, we're going to make our way up to Tharbad. Tharbad will be in two turns. Um, construction report. Just trying to Melkor. Hell yeah. You guys, let's see. So I want to grab... Get the better food. Get the better food around there. Saraland is already getting the better... Uh, practice range, Langalan. Um, I would say you guys... I'm gonna get the Foundry. Yeah, get the Foundry for better armor. Ethring. 
you guys. Let's see, we've got the basic Arison now. Um, does you guys just need to convert? I would say, yeah, get the Shrine of Melkor for right now. Grab that. Bail. Ooh, you get the road upgrades around here. You guys are converting well enough. Yeah, get the, get the road upgrades, because that'll give me another, eh, only another 100 gold per turn, but it does mean we'll have better, fa uh, faster movement range here, too. Lin here now. We've been able to get the basic shrine. Um, let's now get the basic garrison building around there. And, uh, yeah, they're still sieging us Tarnos. They did, they are still sieging me at Dalmroth. That's strange. Usually they would break that off right now. But, uh, for right now, I think we'll be fine. If you guys attack me, we're fine. Also, this army's on their way over. So as soon as they get over there, I can test out the god, the, the trolls and just throw them at them and absolutely wreck those guys. Let's see, so you guys keep gathering around Callum Bell. Keep doing that. And then, uh, thematic information, Gondor Haradrim. Yeah, they keep just going back and forth on whether or not they are at war or not at war. So, I don't know what's going on with you guys there. Alrighty, so here they come. So, they're going to try and assault us here. Again, I don't know. I don't see it here with you guys. I have, okay, you have five. I'm actually going to be letting them go through the gates because I have fucking stakes in this army for once. So bring it on, guys. You get to meet what Rohan has been fighting forever now at this point in time. Where I have just been swiping army after army after army of Rohan because of stakes. And now you guys get to see that too. So this is a castle. And uh, they are over here. So... <sighs> I, I should defend the walls. Yeah, if I defend the walls, at least, I will have um, the towers active. So you guys to be back here. So you can be right there. And then we want to have it so all of my basic archers. You guys... I do want to get them off of... No, I want them to go through the gates. I do want to get them off of their siege towers, though. So I'm actually my cab over here. If I can. Because I want you guys to get them off of their siege towers. At least. So get them over there. Uh, you get set up over here. Try and go right about there. You'll be putting your stakes up. Archers, uh, you'll be getting all up here. So there, 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 and there. And then guard mode up. And then I want to have it so we'll put you guys. Actually, I technically want them to drop that spot too. Okay, so well, now we can. They can have both be both ladders. So you guys can go there. Then we'll just have you right there. My Berserker is up in front. I have a lot of Berserkers in this army. I'm not really... So let's get you guys there. There. One more here, maybe? Nope. Okay, I can't fit him. You can fit there. Okay, that's one more. And then I just have these. So I'll put you over here. And then I've got... Those, these three guys. Those you guys. Yeah, because you need to stay there. It was all of these guys now. Uh, you're just going to be down on the ground, I'd say. I'll just have you guys in reserves. Make sure you put down your stakes, and then start to plummet, and then bring my guys over here. Honestly, I might... Oh! <laughs> instantly sniped one and started on fire. I might actually do the uh, get the other one, too. That might just burn. And I'm not even... I'm going to let them get both ladders up. All my infantry hold. Skirmishes do your thing. And then we'll let you guys get through the gates this time. I do still want to try and see if I can get you. I love how you can still somehow get that up, and it doesn't tip the fuck over. Gotta love older game physics. Okay, let's get you to keep running over here. Again, I do not want you to bring your siege tower up. Primarily because it's just going to light the fucking game if it does. So, charge on in here. There we go. Okay, so now, get my calf back out of there. Get you back inside the city. And then, how are we doing so far? So, 10% of the enemy army is already dead. Gates there. Oh, I should remember to actually like. Let's see. Uh, you guys should go to the gates. So let's go. You move over here, and then all of these guys go running over to the gates. So you, you, and you. Uh, do we? They they got the gates already. What? When did you, okay. Should be fine. Just get on in here, melee. The stakes are still there. They're still going to be using those. So they still should die on the stakes. And that's the captain, I believe. 
skirmishers. Hey, you guys just get set up here, and you can just like shoot point blank range into these guys. Oh, oh no, they are. Yeah, yep, yeah, they're dying. They they are dying. Fourth enemy army is dead already. Let's see, you guys are just chilling there. Archers are doing well. Okay. Just need my crossbows to just keep trying to fire into these guys. And if I can, once the ladders are dropped, I'll get my guys off of the walls. But for right now, we just need to stay where we are, keep firing into their back line, and we can hold this. There we go. Enemy general is now dead. Took them long enough. But no, at this point in time, things have been holding well. We've taken out uh, half the enemy army so far. Crossbows, you're just getting to freely fire into these guys right now. Which is amazing. So just keep firing into that blob. Doing some pretty good damage. And then the ladders still are up. Although they're not really using them. So I could probably bring you guys down if I really want to. But I don't think I need to. Yeah, okay. I decided to bring my guys down off the walls. They were starting to push into me a little bit too much. And now they're just breaking. All of them are. Um, they actually even broke my guys up here. Wow. That's kind of surprising. But you know, keep pushing on into them here with you guys, and then they've really given up. So I actually did lose a decent chunk of my army. Um, we should continue a little bit longer, just to try and get the Magic 85. Let's, there we go. Let's try and start running them down a little bit more. So I want to try and get the Magic 85 just to guarantee that this army's dead. Just a little bit longer. That should be good right there. Okay. Also, honestly, this would have been better if I would have not let them through the gates, but I really wanted to take out those cap units. But there, Tarnos has held. Now we seem to get you guys the basic garrison building around here, and uh, we should be safe around here pretty easily. So for right now, we'll merge my men together. I'm starting to send reinforcements over already. Um, I wonder if they're going to try and attack Dalmroth right now too as well. I hope they don't. Like, you guys should not be willing to siege Dalmroth. You're, you are isolated and alone from your territory. And so, were you right now, we want to try and have it so that you back off of me and try and go defend your mainland stuff, guys. Like, maybe make your way over there. That'd be great. But uh, I don't know if they're going to. Let's see. Are they going to attack? attack? Let's see. Is it going to go past their turn? So far, they might not attack Dalroth. If it goes past their turn, then I think they're just going to not attack it. And they're just, they stop the siege. Yeah, I think we're fine. Let's see, Mr. Rand has been besieged. We do not care. Uh, let's see, keep gathering my forces together. Let's see, how many of you can we take out? Quite a few of you guys. Oh yeah, we have so many armies now at this point in time. And then do they stop? Oh no, they're still sieging. Well, that's a mistake. Because <laughs> now you get to meet some trolls. Oh. How are you able to run from this? You are trapped here. There's no way. But hey, we now get to showcase some trolls. Finally have some trolls in my armies. So we'll have to keep trying to just get more of those. Because I can't wait to have a ton of these guys. But no, let's finish these guys off. Then I can send um, this army over towards Saruman. Give him reinforcements. He can move out of that city. And I kind of want him almost to maybe just go beeline for Minas Tirith. Almost. But let's see. So I have like no skirmishers in this army. That's fine. That's fine. A lot of some of my armies right now have a ton of uh, skirmishers right now, so we need to kind of balance it out. Let's have you guys go there, crossbows and ballista, just kind of go off to the side here a little bit. We gotta start the battle. Infantry kind of spread out a bit more, so we can kind of try and surround them. Let's see, like spread out like that, just kind of casually walk for right now. Yeah, you guys have fire will for right now. Do me move a little bit closer, and I'll be treating the trolls kind of like a cab unit essentially. So I'll get you guys to kind of run around the backside and start trying to deal some pretty good damage. They are starting to fire onto us, so let's start trying to move a little bit closer. So let's see. run there, run there, and then keep trying to make your way forward, guys. We want to take advantage of our superior numbers to kind of just overwhelm them. So let's get you guys to keep trying to make your way forward. And then actually you should get there. Secret for the Corsair Raiders. You guys are going to keep trying to run over here. All of these units go here. Cav, get into the back line. Crossbows, I'll get you a little bit closer to be able to open fire. They've already lost 3% of their army so far. There you go. Getting melee, guys. Let's see. So, I'll have you go here. 
you go here. These three are gonna go around the back side. And then trolls and wargs are almost in position. Let's see, so you guys on this side. Right there. Wargs and trolls. I'm gonna probably have maybe have you guys go for the cav. Because they're trying to get some charges in. Uh some of my guys not doing the best morale wise. Okay. I'm definitely having the trolls go for the jump squad guard. You go for the Corsair Raiders. Yeah, go around here. Bring in the trolls! Let's go, my guys. Fuck them up. There you go. Yeah, fuck up those cab units there. And then, uh, let's see. Some of you are not in melee just yet. So let's get you guys into melee. You should kind of go around over here. I lost one of my trolls already? How dare you! I did do some good damage. Let's kind of pull out of there for a second. Oh, I lost another one. Let's kind of pull out. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Or I guess fight over here. Oh, they're fighting to the death now. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, infantry at that point then, honestly. Just start running them down. Yeah, there you they go. Have lost half their I think I might recover my trolls too, actually, now that I think about it too, as well. Also, do you guys have a fear effect on you? You do frighten nearby enemies. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. Yeah, enemy general's now dead. Uh, I lost so far about 20% of my army overall at this point. Uh, we might recover a bit more, given the fact that, like, eh, I didn't. Uh, it was pretty quick of a battle. The faster the battle, sometimes the faster or the more you recover from it too. It's just these guys over here. There we go. Okay. So yeah, about 500 casualties. Uh, did I recover my trolls? I did not. Damn. That's a shame, but that's okay. First battle with the trolls. And uh, now we've been able to liberate Dolanroth. They should be safe again for right now. So we'll send these guys over towards Saruman. Give them its reinforcements to Saruman and then the Nazgul. And we'll keep pushing. Because at this point in time, we're just trying to beeline over towards Dolanroth. Not Dolanroth, towards uh, Minas Tirith. Although today, at least, I think we'll hit Tharbad first. And Tharbad might kind of be the thing that we really focus on today. So that way, we have a pretty secure front up in the north. Because it's just, like, just going to take a while for my R reinforcements to over here to get to position. Like, you'll take... Yeah, about next turn you can move out. Um, I can actually move you guys out right now. Oh, actually, I get a little bit of training. Um, I will have you guys, let's see, conversion-wise, it's at 71, so you guys can get these queued up. Just uh, get them both right now immediately. And then, Edhaland, you, let's see, I'm going to get you guys the Chieftain's Hall, because then you guys can try and get the better infantry stuff. For right now, though, I will recruit a crossbow, try and grab that. Kalimbel, um, let's get you the, get to have you guys unionize. Next turn, you'll finish the garrison thing there. Trying to train your men around here. There you go. And then... Combo's good. Is there anybody else that needs to build something right now? Because I've actually got quite a bit of excess cash. You, uh... I'm trying to try Malcory, I guess. Grab that. Don't think I need you to recruit anything for right now. Uh, Thedon Gundonost. Uh, definitely give me more beast gates so I can have more trolls. Then recruit some more men around here. And same... Oh, I can't recruit you right now. I want them though. Nice, we've got some stuff there. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, man of the hour for that. Hell yeah! That's Good crazy. job, man. Good job. I'm probably never going to use you ever again, as I'll just let you sit in this city. But yeah, you guys keep trying to repair that stuff. And then I do see Dalm Roth around here. Like, this is one of the reasons why I feel like I almost need to push into you guys too, because they are bringing troops up here, they're bringing armies. And if we look at the military of Dalmroth and Gondor, they both plateaued. But Gondor is far stronger. Because hmm. I can deal with you both. Like, I'm going to have some good areas to try and defend, but that just means I'm going to have to defend all these territories. Oh, that might be a pain in the ass. Let's see. We can get a little bit closer though. Next turn, Thawbad will be mine. 
Come. It's been a long time, Tharbad, and this is the first time in a while, actually, that I think I've ever assaulting it from the south, which feels kind of strange to me. Oh, also, I forgot that Londir. I need to get some something over here built up, but I don't have the cash right now. Let's see, Rune Wanes. Wait, are you guys getting your asses kicked right now? Damn, I didn't realize you were getting that, your asses kicked that much. Let's see, because I know they're being in siege, but I didn't realize they were doing that much damage. Uh, Lin here is now siege by Dolm Roth, actually, this time. I have, I have stakes, though, so I think we're fine. Um, and I've got three Nazgul in here, so we're probably fine there. Uh, Tarnosh, let's see, you now have your garrison building there. Uh, I want to keep you guys trying to keep recruiting stuff or training stuff. Um, let's get the garrison built up around here. And then... I think we're going to be ignoring Dolm Roth right now. I actually think maybe... Um, let's see, because you guys are... Let's see. Like once I get to like 65%, I can then move stuff out. We've got, yeah, we got some back here. So like, you guys, I'm gonna try and move these spies forward. I'm gonna try and send like one of you to go scout ahead and try and see, or actually we just do this, because it's easier. Because I wanna see like what things look like over here right now and how easy it is to for me to just try and make my way over there. Desktox land, that's fine. Destruction port, you got your chieftain's hall over here. You can now get your better drill square around there. Beautiful. Oh, diplomatic information. Yeah, that's just bugged right there. Okay, that's fine. But now, let's see. So, got some more guys over here. And then I will have you all keep making your way towards Kalimbel. Let's see. You. Try and make your way over towards Lin here, possibly. Because I know these guys right now. So, what I want to do is I want to leave behind these guys. And I'm going to move up here, and then I need seven units. I'm going to grab you, 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 these guys. So there we go. Then you, uh, honestly, just keep following us. Just keep following us. I'm going to keep pushing up this way. And uh, we'll now start trying to have it so that I can just probably bring all these troops together. And uh, focus down this army of Dol and Roth, because I'm starting to get a lot of troops now. Especially with the fact that I'm starting to move the... We can recruit up. I can now also build this. Yeah, 65. So we have that. Uh, I'll get this first because it's just cheaper. And I'll queue up the military one, the uh, infantry one after that. Um, but now I actually should have... Yes, I do. Um, well, that's actually a decent big army. But we, learn, we will learn from our mistakes from last time. And we will assault Tharbat immediately. Go balls to the wall. Don't hold back. Oh, that's not that bad. Th those guys could be better. But we're back! You guys thought you killed us, but no. The Witch King has returned to continue what he started, and that is the downfall of Edenweight. So we'll keep pushing on into you guys. Um, and I I find it interesting. I know exactly what the layout is going to be with uh, Lon, uh, with Tharbad. I've defended this city so many fucking times. It's so weird for me to think about it. Like, oh yeah, no. I know exactly the layout and how I want to go about this. Also, I have more than just you guys as my Nazhai in here. So I have more grenades. Although I do have to be careful because you guys don't replenish. Well, plus, let's just move you guys up just a little bit here. You guys up. I do not have a lot of other skirmishers besides that. But move all of you here, infantry, start the battle, start breaking down the gates, and then we'll probably break down the towers to, actually, I can break down the towers first. You guys are pretty good at taking down towers, so let's take the towers out first, then I can get you just a little bit closer, get you to break the gates down, and then, because um, it only should take you like a volley or two to break these down. Then I'm going to hope that they'll focus their attention on the city center. I can grab most of my guys. Are you missing too much? Because if you don't break them on this volley here, yeah, I need to... That's not what I want. Okay, I need to get a little bit closer. Let's try about... Oh, that's too close, that's too close, that's too close. Oh, they stop firing? They stop firing. Okay, just get the gates down. Oh, but maybe try one more volley. One more volley, come on. I want to see if you're going to break it. No? Okay, these ones are stronger than others, uh, other ones. Get okay, back up. Okay, gates are down. Now start trying to break down the towers. I got to about 50%. Bullets now to start trying to move my infantry in here. So you guys just want to start rushing down this alley. Get in there as quickly as you can. And then I want you to start trying to fight these guys. And then I'll start bringing in my Nazgul as well. Bring you guys over. 
and then these skirmishers will start slowly moving forward. Let's see if we can at least take out these towers in case you guys get close enough to the walls. No, you guys are missing, that's why. You guys like keep aiming too low. Because you guys are doing a good amount of damage. Yeah, now they're going to have some of the towers. Like to... Yeah, you go on in there. There we go. One tower is destroyed. You guys now try and destroy the next one. Maybe move a little bit closer. Because, like, it shouldn't take you that long to destroy. Just try and destroy that tower. Yeah, Nazgul will just get set up here and then just start blanket bombing the enemy army. Oh, yes. There you go. There you go, guys. 40% are already dead. Enemy general's already dead. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Get 60% already. Oh, my God. Yep, that's fucking fair. I love it. I love having more of these guys now because I can recruit them now, too. Oh, yeah, they're starting to break. Yes, scream, too. Trying to just get them all to flee. Oh, beautiful. Jesus! What was that ye? Okay. The arms on some of you guys are kind of crazy sometimes. Okay. Infantry keep pushing forward. <laughs> They've lost 80% of their army already. So keep putting pressure in them. And then uh, Nazgul, like, you guys are going to keep pushing forward. Go, yep. Try and focus the wagons down out of anything here. And then my Nazgul try and keep pushing forward so you guys can just keep throwing things at them. Although I don't know if you guys are going to be able to. They're almost 85%. Like, I really do want to just make an army of just Nazhai. Because these guys are so fun to use. They take forever to recruit, though. But, honestly, the amount of damage they did there is so beautiful. Like, us destroying the enemy army that quickly. Like, this is the fastest battle of Tharbat I've ever done, honestly. Just due to the fact that I was able to do that. Imagine if the AI Nazgul actually did that. Because, oh my, or, or if Isengard was as effective at using those guys as uh, a player was. That'd be so, that'd be horrifying. Yeah, you guys got at least 200 kills almost on every single one of the Nazhai. And then just absolutely just demolished the enemy army. But there, Tharbad is now ours. Now we're going to want to have it so that what we'll do is around here. We need to start trying to have it so we're going to push up a little bit more to the north. Then we'll start making our way to the west. Londir is going to be the one territory that we hold for quite a while. Because I want to try and have it so we'll kind of sweep westward after I've re reached the borders of Breland. Because I'm not at war with Breland yet. So going over that way, I think should be a really good way to try and secure our borders, but still do damage to Endwaith. I'm going to need to make sure that I keep saying some more reinforcements over here too, because I just need to keep endless supplies of troops. So, Tharbad's probably going to be a main area that I send a lot of troops towards. Um, also, do I get anything special from the Bridge of Tharbad? No, only other factions. Not me. So, let's have it so, uh, get the Shrine of Melkor so we can start converting this area. Get me a spy. Uh, merge men together, and then what we'll do is... Now, well, I need you guys... Oh, maybe I should converge you guys a little bit faster. That's 33. I'll be able to get some... Oh, I haven't even built that yet. Oh, oops. Okay, well, over here, I need to get the... Because uh, you guys are... Oh, you're only at 20%. Uh, no, we have to actually hold off on that. So, let's have you grab the better temple. So, grab that, and then get some more conversion. Because some of these guys are not free upkeep. So, we're going to have to change that. But, okay. So, that's at least good for that's you guys. Now, we should keep bringing my forces over here. And honestly, what I'm probably going to do is if you guys don't attack before I get my forces That's over here, here, I will lead an assault with Saruman, and I'll have it so that the AI, uh, the Nazgul are controlled by the AI. Because they can respawn, I don't mind if they accidentally die. Gogroth is besieged once again. Uh, Bri is fallen! Interesting. Take settlement suitory. Um, I don't want to do that right now. What, what would it give me? I just... I, I make enough money, I don't care about that. That's fine. Um... So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, construction report. Let's see. So Fulberg, you guys, yep, we're now slowly starting to build the territory up. But then again, I think it's time that we start preparing for the inevitable full-scale war with Rohan soon. Uh, Anuland, let's have you... Probably you get the boar breeder. And then start trying to get some more men in. Keep gathering those. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna have you grab any of those. I really want to start just grabbing just the, just the, basically like these five units. 
<laughs> Nothing else. I don't really want to grab these guys anymore. Um, Gwynd is upgraded there. Let's have you... Let's see. I think I will have you get the practice range. Practice range, Chief and Saul. Honestly, I'm almost to the point I can start, like, queuing things up. Falsehood. Yeah, you start grabbing me some men that I'll be sending up as reinforcements to Tharbad. Uh, but then get the better foundry around here. And then, let's see, Saralond. I will have you get the better foundry as well. Uh, back over here. So they are still sieging me at this point in time. And fighting. I... Let's see, I can get here. And then you... Uh, actually, I might not be able to put you where I want to, actually. Get ready for fighting. Oh, no, you can't get Come over there. This army I'll can. Okay, so I won't be able to have all the stuff I Come want. On. But I can at least do this. Oh, also, this That's is a bridge battle, here. too, technically. Prepare. Yeah, because I'm going to attack you. Oh, my God, this is a bridge battle, too. I love that. Um, I will trust you guys to be controlled by the AI. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, you all don't die. This is a bridge battle, though. So if I convince them to walk to me, I have the Nazgul. I have ballistas. I might be able to put stakes down? The angle of how I'm attacking might be a bit awkward for that, so I don't know if they'll let me put stakes down in front of the bridge. Oh, no. Okay, perfect. So, uh... Oh, this, this army doesn't have stakes. The other army has stakes. Okay. Ballistas. You guys just kind of get set up here. Crossbows. I'll get you guys all back here. You guys back here. And then infantry. Let's just get you guys trolls pull back. Just have you guys kind of wait here and see if they're going to advance in across the bridge or not. Let's see. Looks like they are. Let's so have you fire wheel on. You guys gather around with me. And then it does look like they're going to make their way over here. So if they do, let's try and get you guys right here. You guys kind of right here. Uh, are they crossing or not? Not really. Although, also, honestly, I could probably advance over if I really want to. I have enough infantry. I think my blisses are firing. They do have some good units, though. Uh, it's primarily that archers are firing on me right now. Ballistas, if you can. Uh, I'd like for you to try and shoot those Talon Knights. And then crossbows. I think you guys, honestly, I don't mind setting up over, like, here. I do think some of my infantry I should run over. Like, I'll have you guys, at least. So let's have you guys run over. I'll have everybody else kind of stay back. Uh, you as well, I guess. So, yeah, you guys kind of run on over. And then... Because honestly, we might be able to try and have it so we'll be able to harass them quite a bit before my their reinforcements get over here. So let's get you guys to run over here in front. Trolls kind of hold off to the side. But yeah, get all of my ballistas, or my crossbows, over to the side. And then I can have you just focus on trying to maybe shoot... That's the Royal Guard. You will have enough range that you should be able to hit the General's Bodyguard over here. But I'll just let you kind of shoot whoever you can on this side. Infantry then just try and do what you can over here to try and start pushing through or to convince them to attack me. Because that's what I want. But they just don't want to move right now. Like uh, but let's, let's move you guys over here. Alright, so I've been able to do a decent amount of damage. 8% to 8%, so not the best. But I'm going to start telling everybody to be aggressive now at this point in time. So my infantry here, start trying to make your way on in to support them. Uh, we've been able to do some good damage, at least to some of their forces here with my crossbows, just shooting them uh, from across the river. So that's pretty good. Like, you guys have slowly died here. It's very even. Although I think, like, once we get everybody in here... Like, I've almost actually pushed through this section. So if we can just get you guys kind of break through a little bit more, I'll be able to start trying to surround a little bit and flank them. And with the reinforcements from uh, the Nazgul and everybody, I should be thinking we'll be okay. Oh, also, I should remember to do fight my Uruk died. Give you guys a better fighting ability. So, let's have you guys do that. Kind of aid you a little bit in this. There you go. Saruman's one. That has a chance of stunning people. But yeah, there we go. So now we can have a, so yeah, you guys push on in. There we go. Start. I, oh, this is also, this is a guy from Mithrast that they uh, recruited around here. And now he's about to die. Let's see. Ooh, there's a Royal Guard unit right there. Just running past us. Try and focus on that unit there. 
Oh, uh, they just killed some of my trolls there with that charge. I hate how bad, how susceptible they can be to charges sometimes. Okay, well, keep fighting, guys. Keep pushing. 11 to 12. It's really close. Uh, let's have you try and stun units if you can. You're going to do way more damage than I'd like. Because we're probably going to do... Hopefully we'll kill this army. I don't know if the other army is going to actually be aggressive against us or not. Or if they're just going to just, like... Because if they actually try to walk across the bridge, I'd rather, like, pull back. But for right now, we are the aggressors, so we do have to actually push into the enemy army. Which, hey, there... Let's see, there's one enemy general dead. Now, we're starting to pull ahead a little bit. Oh, there we go. Nazgul, we're starting to throw shit. So, let's see, so there's another enemy general dead. Beautiful. Let's see, so they've lost 30% of their army overall now at this point in time. Uh, infantry is pushing forward. Trying to have you guys... Yeah, some of the Illithan Rangers are now in, infantry, in melee. Perfect. Let's see. So, I only have... I wonder, does this technically affect my uh, uh, reinforcing armies, too? It might. It'd be beautiful, it does. Because for right now, at least, we're pushing on in here. Crossbows technically don't have as much to fire on right now. That's okay. You guys can just keep trying to slowly push on in, in melee right now. And then... Let's see, they've got some squires... Some archers, lancers. They don't have a lot left over here. I just have to, again, hope that you guys don't rush too quickly forward. If they do, that'll be a little bit of an issue. Like, it'll just slow my advance a little bit. If the AI loses the Nazgul. I hope they don't. Because, like, just, just don't, please. Like, we're winning this battle nicely. We're, we've killed a third of the enemy army overall. I'm slowly pushing in rather nicely. Um, and if I can just get you guys to provide support and just not die, we're good. And there goes another one. So I think the enemy re uh, army, the one that I was fighting, had four generals. Um, I'm going to ignore these guys right now. That's just a basic archer. I'm not that worried about you guys. Um, I want to keep pushing and keep supporting you guys. They are rushing straight on up there. Um, there are a lot of skirmishers in this army. This army doesn't have nearly as many cav units, actually, as the other army did. So, let's keep trying to push on in this way. Ignore the units that are routing. And then I do have a little bit more ammo on some of my crossbows. And so I'll try and get you guys to keep pushing. Number-wise, they've lost about half the enemy army overall. 20% on mine. Which isn't that bad. You guys are in here up in front. There you go. I'm just trying to make sure that at least these guys are trying to always support where the Nazgul are. So you can keep trying to do that. Definitely trying to focus on these caviars if possible. Baden Guard, you're getting melee with them. Let's support them. You are about to get flanked so hard. But at least it's better than them hitting the Nazgul there. So yeah, you guys focus them. Don't have another stun, but I do have another Uruk died. So let's try and do that, because that should be uh, map-wide a bonus. So get on there. You guys push forward a little bit more. 25 to 53. Let's try and run these guys down, wear them down. Like, you all have a good amount of troops still in the other armies. Like, I, I've taken the brunt of the forces so far. Like, that, that is where most of the casualties are, are in my army. So if you guys can keep this up, we'll win this. Just gotta take out the Jones Bodyguard, because they've lost two-thirds of their army so far now at this point. We are losing quite a bit. Uh, I'm not surprised. They have Cav. And I don't have as many of my pikes in my armies as I would like right now. Um, we're slowly getting to the point where we only have Orkai in my armies. And once we have that, then we'll be really good. But this battle is like the first battle that we've done in a while. That's been just a pure open field fight. And being able to showcase that we're still able to win, even right now, is actually really good for us. The fact that we've been able to do this against Dolomroth, of all people, showcases that our military is getting to the point where I'm going to start just being able to walk over cav focused armies like Dalmroth, like Rohan because we can do that once we have enough dudes because that's the thing we just have to have enough guys ready and waiting to kind of help out and just go body for body with them in melee and then we can win those fights okay they are giving up I'm gonna try and continue just a little bit longer I want to see oh, no, I'm not gonna be able to get you I'm not gonna be able to catch you I think well actually no, we have some wargs Okay, you can, yeah, I don't think you're going to catch him. That's fine. He took out 94% of the enemy army. army. There we go. So we took out at least three generals, at least. I don't think I touched anybody in this army. But not bad. You took the most damage, actually. I thought I ended up losing more than that. No, not bad. 
Yeah, 91% of their forces died. We've now been able to destroy both of these forces. And, uh, well, okay, technically you'll kind of survive because the general survived. But that's a pretty good chunk of d uh, damage to Dalmroth. I, I kind of feel like I maybe should try and push into Dalmroth. Like, take a little detour, kill them, then go for Minas Tirith. Because right now, how things are going... They're going to keep harassing from the south. And so I, th I think I could easily go down, finish them off. I, d I do need to make sure if I'm going to do that, I have to bring in more ships. Because I need to hit their last island. That's what I'm going to have to do. So, I know I already grabbed one. I should probably go grab more. But at least you guys here. Noble Death. Who was that? Please tell me that was the random general's bodyguard that was in... Oh my god, who died? <laughs> God, God fucking damn it. Oh. Don't trust the auto resolve leading the Nazgul. Got it. Oh, God fucking damn it. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely killing uh, Dalamroth now after that. Oh, my God. Every single fucking one of them. I lost that into all the Nazgul that were fighting for them here now at this point in time. Well, hey, they should all be spawning back in between now 178 and 183. So, okay. We're almost there. But I do think this is going to be a pretty good place to end for today. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts happen in general? This is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time. We're spawning back in between... Now, one...